Thank you, Mr. Speaker. With permission, I would like to make a statement on the Panama Papers. Right now, it doesn't seem like British Prime Minister David Cameron's links to the revelations in the Panama Papers will force him out of office or trigger a criminal investigation. But they did earn him a drubbing in Parliament, courtesy of outspoken Labour MP Dennis Skinner. I didn't receive a proper answer then. Maybe Dodgy Dave will answer it now. And by the way... House of Commons Speaker John Burkow gave Skinner a chance to retract his taunt. He's perfectly, or he's perfectly capable of asking his question without using that word. It is up to him, but if he doesn't wish to withdraw it, I can't reasonably ask the Prime Minister to answer the question. Skinner refused. This man has done more to divide this nation than anybody else. And was summarily ejected from Parliament for the day. I don't think the Prime Minister has done anything wrong. Cameron's allies have defended his connections to an offshore investment fund as both legally and morally acceptable. His opponents are now questioning the Prime Minister's commitment to tackling severe tax avoidance. The Prime Minister makes great play that his government has done a great deal to improve corporate tax transparency, but it's nowhere near enough. According to the BBC, this is the fifth time Skinner has been ejected from Parliament. For Newsy, I'm Grant Sunison. Thank you.